Hey, 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 Gemini. This is LT Tarot doing your February 2022 reading. So, you guys, I haven't talked to you guys in a little minute. Did you miss me? <laughs> I got that from um, Martin or whatever. But anyway, um, if you guys have not already, please make sure that you like, you comment, and you subscribe to the channel. So, our my readings are going to, style is going to be a little different. Um, and it's going to be basically like I give you a words of encouragement or a message from spirit. Um, you're going to get a money reading, a love reading, a business reading, and like a spiritual health reading. So um, what I try to do is do the first part on this side on YouTube. And then I do the, um, the what I can finish on here within the time slot allowed. I would do the rest on Gumroad. And you can actually purchase the extended reading with the link below. So, um, yep, guys, Gemini, let's get right into it. As I move my crystals, I like to just pick up this energy right before I do a reading. We're going to use Moonology. I find myself when I be playing with my crystals or just feeling the energy of my crystals, just give me so much, like, clarity. All right. I don't know if anybody does that. Maybe I'm just weird. I can do that while I'm at work too, because I still have a full-time job. But I can um, sit there and play with my crystals and find peace in it. What what weird, quirky stuff you guys find yourself doing, or spiritual stuff that you find yourself doing? Drop it down below. All right. So this is a full moon eclipse. It says conclusions are within re uh, reach. So I feel like what that is saying that uh, whatever, you know how like sometimes, well not even sometimes, sometimes we have like two cards came out. I didn't even realize that. So the next one, it says you are good enough. This is a uh, full moon in Virgo. So this one right here, I feel like conclusions um, are within reach there's going to be a final like thing whatever you're trying to achieve like whatever your end goal is if you have business end goals if you have a love life end goal like marriage or anything like that um they're within reach your uh your def your goals you definitely are attainable this car right here like here i feel like people feel like they're not good enough you know sometimes you feel like oh i'm unworthy of love i'm unworthy of my job i'm unworthy uh, of being happy you are good enough and i think that you need to recognize that gemini that you are an amazing person you're good enough you got to continue to keep pushing you got to continue showing your light but you definitely are good enough so let's move on and do your money your money honey your honey money Grab something to drink really, 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 really quickly. Sorry about that. All right. So I'm going to take these cards and shuffle them. And then we're going to talk about your money. Your money, money, your money. Why your love life want to come out about your money? How is your money, I mean, how is your love life affecting your money? Some of you guys are not focused on money like that because you're so, uh, focused on this relationship or having fun. Like, your mind is not focused on your money right now. Money is, I feel like, for you guys, or may not be a, a big factor right now. So, we're going to read these cards as they came out. Um... You do have some good news coming about your money, though. I feel like you're going to be celebrating more. Um, if you have a project that you're working on, um, people are going to know about it. I feel like you have some big announcements um, when it comes to your money. Like, So if you are trying to get a promotion at work, 
Um, I feel like this is letting me know that this is definitely going to happen. Um, and, but I just see like at the end of the day, you're just having a lot of fun. You're just celebrating. You're, um, you, you got some announcements to be made. I feel like you're going to different events and you're actually just really enjoying life here. So you're giving birth to your dreams. Um, so it's definitely like something that you've been thinking about for a long time and you're actually able to finally man, uh, manifest what you want. You're finally able to, um, go after what you want and you're able to do this in the most creative way possible. I definitely see a lot of success here where you're kind of living a life of luxury because of some, um, promotions that are coming to you, like, uh, increase in money that's coming to you. So this card right here says that you could be worried about some things because this card says set aside your concern for now. You can make a decision later. Solutions that come from meditation, the need for more, more sleep or vacation. So if you just focus, 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 focus on your money um, and like trying to overcome some things and you're, uh, and you're not finding balance within that, like balance, like you're not balancing with doing other things in life, like celebrating because you may not be at that point where you're actually celebrating yet, right? Um, this is a great time to um, let you know to meditate, to, you know, go on a vacation, kind of just um, set out 10 minutes a day, quiet. You, you know, it doesn't really, it's still meditation, but you don't necessarily have to um, sit, sit there and like meditate, just sit there and be quiet and see what, what it is meditation. I'm trying to say a way to do this without meditating, but it's meditation. But you can, I mean, there is so many different ways to meditate, um, just to be honest with you. So I just feel like take time out for yourself, meditate, pray, um, spend time alone, because I see like there's a lot of good things coming to you. You're about to be on the move, but I feel like maybe you're not able to see that right now. The next thing we have is the um, Queen of Autumn. And it says that it's time for you to kind of like, it says be practical with respect to how you proceed. The ability to make anything more beautiful. Uh, meeting someone who can help your dreams come true. So you um, may, uh, once this promotion comes through, I feel like it's going to be a whole, um, like, a, like elevating the type of people that you be around and i feel like there's other dreams that are within you that are within reach and that this card is basically letting you know like um you know you're gonna meet somebody that can make your dreams come true some things that I feel like for some of you guys that you just felt like okay this is not possible anymore like oh my gosh i wanted to do that when i was younger oh yeah i did that i wanted to play piano as a kid or i wanted to um own that type of business when I was a, ch a child, but I didn't think that that was feasible as an adult. I feel like don't doubt yourself because whatever you want to do, make sure you do it because you know, you're strong enough to do this. You, we only have one lifetime. I hate when people settle because we only have one lifetime. Well, we have multiple ones, but we only live this life once. So with that being said, like why would you put restraints on your life? Why are you holding yourself back? Because when you put restraints on your life, basically what happens is you're not living your life to its full uh, <sighs> capability. You know what I'm saying? I, I breathe like that because I just don't want you guys to do that. I don't want you guys to sit up here and put limitation on your I hate meeting people when they be like putting themselves in a the box and they can really just get out the box. You know, they have every, uh, every tools to get out the box, but they won't get out the box. They just feel like, oh, well, I got to live my life like this. And you don't. You really don't. You can be happy. You can do, you know, you can own these businesses. You can um, go live on an island if that's what you want to do. You know, like these are things that are very, like, within your reach. You just don't know how to get to it. You know what I'm saying? It's like you thought, this is the stupid analogy that I'm about to use. But say if you were trying to get something out the cabinet and you was like, oh, I can't reach it. And then you uh, you just get a chair 
and step on the chair and reach it, it's like, okay, well, it was within your reach. You got it, right? But you may, you needed a little, a little help, a little boost. And I feel like that's all you guys need. And I feel like this person that's coming in is going to um, help you get that reach. It's like that's your uh, your chair to get to that side. And that's why I said your money. You, 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 you may not be fo that focused on love. I mean money. Because love is coming. But I feel like you're going to meet some um, new uh, somebody new at work. For those that are, uh, that are single. I feel like you're going to meet somebody new at work. I feel like a relationship is coming <laughs> with somebody you met from work. And that's good, though. Good. At least you know what they make. And this relationship is going to be very fulfilling. Um, definitely fulfilling. I feel like there's an emotional uh, fulfilling relationship that is coming to you. Somebody you're going to probably have kids with if you want kids. Um, and it's definitely somebody you can trust. So we're going to move on. We're moving on. I always say we're moving on to um, love. Love, love, love. Let's shuffle. We got the shuffle, shuffle. Let's see what came out. Okay. Let's see if any jumper cards want to come out for Gemini. Love's life. Love life. Any jumper cards. My watch is saying I need to get up and move around. It's in here. The rings all day. All day. And I don't read any... Um, any reversals i don't do reversals i feel like the tarot um has enough cards where i don't i shouldn't have to read reversals but there are some people who do that that's why i gave that disclaimer because people be asking me why don't i do that why don't i do it let me see that time okay all right my gemini's so you guys have this big renewal that's happening in your love life i think some of you guys have just been coming um very frustrated with love like it's just you just tired you know like you just got kind of like maybe you isolated yourself and you just felt like hmm like why have i um have not met the right person but then at the same time you're like well dang i don't even know if i want to meet the right person i don't know if i want to go outside and try to meet a guy or a chick you know what i'm saying and like i think that this is a time for you guys like to work on this this month um in february is that kind of like decide what you want because you're meeting somebody at work you get what I'm saying? You definitely, because I just told y'all that. We definitely mean somebody at work. But this is the time to review the past and present and make a plan and figure out what you want. When, um, like, do yourself that um, that service where you actually take the time out to fi figure out what kind of person that you want, what kind of, um, what values you have, what type of values you want your per uh, person. Also, whatever you decide that you want, um, you know, in this person, make sure that you are doing the same thing. So if you want a person that has money, make sure your money is right. You know, because I mean, you got, it has to be equal. It has to be a balance. You know, you don't have to necessarily make the same amount of money that person make, but you, if you want like stability, make sure you are stable. Like you can't expect for this person to be your captain save a hoe, you know, and come in here and save the day because at the end of the day, whatever you expect for somebody else, you should be you should already have that or if you don't already have that then lower your expectation because you need to be able to find that balance that yin yang where you can actually find somebody who can provide you the same thing you can provide them you know so think about that 
but that's i'm telling you that because of the fact that you do need to kind of review what you want and figure out um what kind of relationship you want what kind of values you want this person to have you know those are things that you need to think about once you guys do that gemini it's showing me that you're going to have the Midas touch. I love that card because the Midas, I mean, the King of Autumn represents like having a Midas touch, uh, letting you know like everything is going to go good, um, you know? And so it, like everything is going to kind of like work out in your favor. You just need to be assertive and go after what you want because everything that you do, it works out. So that's because things work out for you when you actually take out the time to heal. If you're here, hold on. My bad, guys. I feel like this in this house, all we do is buy stuff on Amazon. <laughs> I was like, who's at the door? I don't have company other than the Amazon worker. <laughs> anyway, sorry. So, I feel like it's very important for you to heal because you're going to have the Midas touch. I feel like this renewal, I feel like there's a big, huge renewal within you. So, this renewal it's gonna change your life you hear what i'm saying like you're definitely gonna get what you want because it's this energy it's this new energy that you have you may find yourself being more spiritual you may find yourself being more grounded you may find yourself being more happy but there's a big huge renewal that's happening that's bringing the renewal is bringing you being compassionate accomplished charismatic gifted and people seeing that and seeing you in such a positive light and seeing you being happy and seeing you enjoying life. And this is what's going to bring in this new relationship because this new relationship that you're having is bringing you so much contentment, so much everything. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? So this is letting me know like this is like some happiness is coming right i see like you may be um about to meet a sagittarius because it sounds like uh, like the opposite end of sagittarius reading if you haven't watched that go watch that video but basically like there's some happy news coming about your career there's some promotion coming here right but i already told you that too but like i said this person is definitely helping you get to this point this person, like they're, this new relationship that you're about to establish, it's like after the promotion, that's when you meet this person. And that's when you actually um, able to enjoy, I mean, like get the relationship that you want. I see like what these cars are actually telling me. Um, because it's like we sometimes we have to do the work. This is the month that you do the work to get what you want. And I think I told somebody, another group of people, I think it was maybe Sagittarius. But my readings even though i have a time stamp of february 2022 that does not mean that everything is going to happen in february this is just like me giving you the reading in february that's all when i put th that time frame on there that is just all i'm saying because what actually is this this could be for the remainder of your year this could be the next two years you know that this play out because you got to think about it. you got to these are some significant things that are happening in your life. You gotta um, renew yourself. You know, you gotta actually uh, heal, heal, your, heal yourself. Then you gotta get this minus touch. Then you gotta get this promotion. Then you gotta meet this person. You get what I'm saying? So that takes time. That's all I'm trying to say. That takes time. So, um, but I do see where Spirit is saying that all of this happens, all this good stuff happens after you actually get to the point where you can figure out what you want it's very important for you guys to take the time to figure out what you want out of life what you want out of relationship what you want out of your career what you want out of your business what you want out of your family life all of this stuff needs to be written down because then you need to manifest it this is so similar to sagittarius that i feel like a lot of you gemini's are going to be dating a sagittarius and some of this stuff may already played out for you guys. So some of this stuff may be your past. You know, if you guys have already, you feel like I've already done it, the inner work. I'm good, you know, that way. Now I feel like 
I'm in this energy here where everything I touch is gold. Like, then the next thing that's going to happen for you is the fact that um, you're going to have some promotions, you know. Um, some people may be getting some scholarships or grants for their business. But it's, so if you're in that energy where you're like, okay, well, I've already done those other two things. That's, that's in the past and I'm here, you know, where I just got a promotion. Then, you know, like the next thing here for you is for your love life, you know, and that's what I was telling you about earlier. So the one thing that your spirit guides want to want to let you know about all of this is the fact that you need to work on um, to the illusion of feeling uh, trapped. You're not trapped. You're not in a box. You're not. Nothing is stopping you but you. And that, that's why it's an illusion because nothing is actually stopping you, Gemini. You guys just need to realize that you have more power than what you think you have because nothing is actually stopping you. Um, nothing is in your way. That's all fear and worry. The only thing that's in your way is fear and worry. Fear and worry. You have to let those things go. And some of you, um, I'm about to say Leos, but you Gemini. So some of y'all may be talking to a Leo. But um, some of you um, Gemini may actually have an ego problem. Some of you guys may be big headed. You may think that you just the shit and your shit don't stink. You get what I'm saying? We got the three of spring. So this is right here. It's like letting you know to plan your next step. You know, with an eye um, on the long term. So also saying have patience. There are more good things to come. So I feel like what this basically is talking about, this part of this reading is talking about is actually taking the time out to... Um, to plan your next step out, figure out what you want and have patience and let it come to you. Like, I feel like don't have that energy of rushing, 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 rushing. You also need to be more assertive. You need to be more assertive about what you want. Like, don't back down on what you want. Don't let somebody come in here and say, oh my gosh, um, I know you want it somebody who was on the same level as you but i'm beneath you let me i still want to take you out on a date don't do it if that person is not your standard or, or not this is your standard but if that person don't have what it takes to be in a relationship with you or even to date you or even to call you don't even waste your time just be like okay you you know i'm gonna let this go i, I tell people all the time have a 30-day rule in the first 30 days of getting to know someone if there's some red flags that comes up within that first 30 days, let it go. Let that person go. You, there's no attachment to that person. You should not have attachment to anybody when you, um, getting to know somebody in 30 days. If you have attachment issues within 30 days, then you need to actually work on that. Get your therapist. Work, do some inner work. Do some spiritual cleansing because you there should be no attachment to anybody. You may like them. You may be fond of that person, but there's nothing that should say like, oh my gosh, I have to have you in my life. Like, oh my gosh, I got to do something to get you back in my life. No, there should be none of that in 30 days. It's like, logically, you should not be doing that in 30 days. The next thing here is... I see that you're going to be rewarding yourself for the hard work. You know, I feel like you're going to find yourself being very happy. And just kind of like cherishing, cherishing life alone right now until this person comes in. Because I see that you what you're working on is feeling left out in the cold here. I do see that you have the, um, you have the magician card here. So it means that you're manifesting your dream life, I mean, your dream lover by actually um, having that person come, you know, like writing that stuff down, writing what you want in this person, um, what you want in your relationship. You're also, um, you also need to work on balance here. You want to, don't want to give too little or give too much of your time. Find a way to balance. If someone is doing something for you and they're going out all out for you, do the same. You know, find balance. Like people like that yin yang. They don't like to feel used. 
and they definitely don't like feeling like they're doing all the work and the other person's not. I'm saying that because that is meant for somebody. And the last thing here is to take a leap of faith. Is I mean, like you need to take, like, you just need to take a leap of faith and 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 try something di um, different. Whatever you've been doing in your past is not working. So you need to work on whatever you need to, like, you know, work on doing something different. So maybe you dating people at your job is not what you normally do. But now take the opportunity to date somebody at your job because that could be your soulmate. I know so many people who met their, their soulmate at work. I absolutely know a thousand people who have done that. And so even though that may not be something you're used to, it's time to be used to it because somebody's coming uh, for you. So I'm going to stop here. Um, basically, I'm going to pull more cards and uh, focus on like your partner because I wanted to just get that message out when I seen that that's where this was going with those messages. I wanted to make sure that I took the opportunity to get that out on this side because on um, the gum road side, I'm going to talk about like your care, uh, partner's like characteristics give you some more insight about the relationship and not how you're going to meet the person. But I do feel like when spirit say, say something, say it. So spirit really wanted me to tell you guys that about your relationship, like um, getting rid of that fear, being more intentional about what you want, because that's actually going to get you exactly what you want in your next relationship. But when I do it on um, the gum roll side, I'm going to make sure I talk more about the relationship and like the uh, what kind of relationship you guys are going to have. Not only that, I would do uh, pull cards for your businesses. So for you business owners, I'm going to pull cards on that side. And I'm going to do like a uh, spiritual health reading on that side, like things you should be working on, things you need to do just to better your life. And that is going to be the end of this reading. And I definitely want to thank you guys for watching liking the video commenting and subscribing to the channel because i know you subscribe <laughs> but anyway guys see you on the other side oh one last thing so the link um for the extended version of this reading is below if you want to purchase the extended version just click on the link it'll take you to gumroad and um yeah i'll be talking to you on that side thank you guys